Hospice care is for people who are terminally ill. They're at the end of their lives. So they turn to hospice care to treat their pain and symptoms, and it's supposed to attend to their needs holistically. Hospice is the last care given to a human before they shuffle off their mortal coil. So it's pretty important, pretty heavy stuff. Which is what makes this story even more disgusting, because it involves disgusting behavior at a hospice care center. Novus Healthcare Services is in North Texas. On its website, it says that they treat people the way they would want to be treated themselves, that they go the extra mile to make patients feel comfortable and secure. But that's not what the FBI has found to be true, exactly. The FBI has found that the owner of Novus, Brad Harris, has routinely instructed his nurses to give his hospice patients overdoses of drugs like morphine to speed up their deaths. You see, the faster hospice patients die, the more money a hospice provider can make. So Harris sent text messages to his nurses like, you need to make this patient go bye-bye, while instructing them to give four times the maximum medication allowed, the FBI alleges. He told his employees that he wanted them to find patients who would die within 24 hours. He'd say things like, if this effer would just die, he would have employees who were not doctors sign certifications with the names of doctors and send patients back to home to die, even though they still needed care just to save money. That's because the longer people stay in hospice, the more it costs. When a patient enters hospice, Medicare and Medicaid kick in. So the hospice place gets money from the government to take care of these people at the end of their lives. But they have caps on how much money they get. So if a patient lives longer than expected, it starts to cost the hospice place money. They sometimes even have to give money back to the government. So the best way to make money in the hospice game is to find people who qualify for government funding and will also die quickly. That's what Harris directed his employees to do, help them die quickly, according to the FBI's investigation. And when they didn't die fast enough, he ordered nurses to pretty much help kill them by overdosing them. So, this story is pretty disgusting, all right. And sadly, it's also indicative of just how sick the healthcare system is here in the US. Tonight, let's talk about that.